Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf. Today at the TaylorMade Kingdom, I'm joined by Chris Trott to talk about the new TaylorMade Truss Putters. Uh, Chris, let's just get it started right away here. Obviously, these look a little bit uh, unique compared to mm -hmm. other putters. Um, yep. How did the idea of the Truss Putters come about? I think the idea came about from, if you look at the evolution of sports equipment for a start, think about a wooden tennis racket. If you can go back that far and you look at some of the tapes or you remember it as a kid and it had one point of contact with mm. the actual racket face. Then if you remember as rackets developed and fibers changed, carbon came in, it became multiple contact points. So the head became mm. more secure. If you then think about a truss bridge or something that you're driving over that takes a heavy load, that would be this triangular point. So you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going for more stable, no matter where you strike it. Because the truth is when we put guys in our lab, and when I say guys, I'm talking Rory, Dustin, Rahm, everyone, yeah. a 14 foot putt, not everyone strikes it out the center. So if you can stabilize up the head somehow, which is what this truss does, then that will allow you to generate the same speed, even if you miss right. it slightly, giving you the same ball speed, which then means you can hold your line, which then means you can hold more putts, which then means you can win more money off your buddies, which is what <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely. all about. Uh, it's because, you know, mallet designs have really been kind of the high MOI type of yep. putter in golf. Um, and that's kind of changing now, or at least the stability feel type of thing, um, you know, with the truss putters, right? I think mallets, right? The tour has gone from mallets being the lower used percentage yeah. to now I think we're close to 50-50, or if anything, mallets have taken over as time's gone on. And the reason being is because, as you mentioned it, the CG is back and the MOI is increased. With a blade putter, some people just want to use blades. They just like a forward CG. So now we've been able to incorporate a high MOI through reduced twisting through the truss, even with a forward feeling CG. So if you're a classic TP user, you can now get into a putter that is going to be easier to get that look that you're after, but with stability. Now, what we're not touching on is we make a center shafted version of this as well. And if you can get into the center shafted version versus a one contact point TP putter, it's 80% more stable. So 80% wow. less twist if you can get into the center shafted truss fixture. And then these ones are more like 60% when you get into the heel. All based on feel, look, emotion that you like. It's a very emotional category, so looks are important. But if you can get into the mallet version of this, center shafted, you're gonna see huge benefits. Yes, yeah, so you mentioned the center shafted version. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, I believe there's four different truss yes, models, right? Correct. Can you go through each one and kind of explain the differences? Between? Sure, so we've kept it pretty simple. You've got the truss blade and the truss mallet. So the genius we came up with is TB for blade and TM for mallet, and then one and two based on the neck that you like. So the standard L neck would be one on both, both models, and then the two is the center on both models. And all I press you to do when you're trying the clubs, testing them out because they're so unique, look at them from the top down and then be sure to hit the center shafted in everything because that is where you get the most stability, like I've mentioned, and the truest path with a stroke. And then I think lastly too, I just wanted to ask if someone is you know looking at these and maybe doesn't like the look or doesn't look, mm -hmm. you know, the, the appearance might be iffy for them, right? Okay. What is that final message for you? What are golfers going to be missing out on if they are shied away from that look? So I'm going to be taking these out to the tour in 2020. Um, I've already taken some parts out to the TaylorMade Invitational at Pebble Beach and showed them to some players. The initial look when you look at it from here or from here is, wow, it's super different. But tour players who go from strokes gained, as you know, to win trophies, pay their own bills that they have, that's their living. When you look down at it, they're like, okay, accepting, then they hit putts. Once it's at that stage and they start to hit putts and see the ball, see the results, it's game over. So all I would say is if you can get around the look from here, all you have to do is put it down and mm -hmm. hit putts. And then you will really feel the technology that's been crammed into a TP classic style putter. And also, like I say, for our guys that are embracing more of the mallet look, we have that as well. So Chris, uh, obviously the pure roll technology has been kind of a staple in TaylorMade putters yep. for a while now, and that's back in trust as well. So what yep. are golfers gonna see from pure roll? It's not going away. I mean, when we get in the lab and we test with it and we look on the Quintex system, it just gives a more efficient roll. It gets your ball into forward motion quicker. If you use this, it reduces backspin. And any time that you can do that in a product, 
It's not mm -hmm. something we can take out. So it trust does include that as well. Absolutely, Chris. Well, thank you for joining awesome. us today. Uh, this was some great stuff on Thanks. the tailor-made truss putters.